What's up guys? Thanks for checking out the channel. Welcome to Redbeard Gaming. In today's video I'll be going over some easy tips and tricks to complete all the camo challenges so you can unlock gold for the Marshall pistol. Okay first let's start with the setup. I prefer to run it with the Microflex LED but you can run it with either site that you like. For the barrel you're going to want to run the 12.1 extended. It's going to give you 20% range increase and only cost you 10% of your sprint to fire time. Other than when you're going for long shot kills, you can run the 6.5 cut down. It will give you an increase of fire rate, but it's going to negatively affect your range. The only magazine attachment is Dragon's Breath. I personally don't use this because it's ineffective against people with flak jacket on. So that 17% damage increase that you're going to get isn't really a damage increase, and it does cost you reload quickness as well as damage range. The last attachment is dual wield, which allows you to run the pistols akimbo. I normally always run them with this attachment, except for when I was completing my long shots. For your class setup, you can run whatever primary you prefer. Right now the Tech 9 is pretty OP, so that's what I have been using, but you can run whatever weapon you like. Same with equipment, I like using the stem shot and Simtech grenades, but you can also use whatever you like. For field upgrades, I like to run the field mic because it makes the floor challenge super easy. You can also run the assault pack if you find yourself consistently running out of ammo. For perks, run whatever you like. I run flag jacket, gearhead, and ninja, but if you're having issues with ammo, you probably should run scavenger. The most important one, in my opinion, is your wild card, and you're going to want to run danger close because you will spawn in with twice as much ammo than you normally would, which is really going to be helpful for getting those bloodthirsties. A side note, if you run Danger Close and Scavenger together, you will spawn in with 12 rounds in your reserve, but if you run over a dead enemy and pick up ammo, regardless of how much you have, it will drop you down to 6, and you will not be able to carry more to 6 till you respawn again. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or if they'll patch it out, but at the time I made this video, if you picked up ammo, it resets your reserve limit to 6. There are 7 camel challenges to complete. They're the same as they are for all the other pistols. The first one is spray, which consists of getting 150 kills. You're just going to naturally complete this from using the gun and leveling it up. The next one is stripes, which is get 50 headshots, another super easy challenge. Don't stress over this one. It unlocks early and you only need 50, so you should easily have completed this by the time you finished all the other challenges just from getting kills. If you are struggling to finish this one, try running an optic on it and just adjust your aim up a little bit. And if you run into an AFK player, make sure you take the free headshot. The next one is classic. You have to get 5 kills without dying 20 times, so pretty much 20 bloodthirsties. The marshal does have pretty limited range, so in any medium to long range situation, make sure you have your primary out and switch back to when you get into a more close range situation. You don't have to get 5 consecutive kills with the gun. You just have to get 5 in that lifetime. So you, if you get an 8 kill and 3 are with your primary and 5 are with your marshal, it'll still count. They also do stack. So if you get a 10 kill streak with the marshals, it'll count as two towards this challenge. This challenge isn't too hard to complete, so don't overstress it. What I recommend and what I normally do is I just play normal, and then if I notice that I'm on like a three or four kill streak, I'll kind of camp a little bit just to get the last one or two kills that I need to complete the challenge. The next one is geometric, which is get 25 long shot kills. This one is probably the most frustrating out of all the challenges. To get the long shot, you have to be at least 15 meters away from your enemy when you get the kill. The problem is, at about 18 meters, the gun becomes a hit marker machine, even in hardcore. The easiest way i found to complete this challenge quickly is to play hardcore face-off. These spots in the video were the easiest places to get long shot kills, and you can usually get about 5 per match, and each match only lasts around 5 minutes. I would also strongly recommend running this gun as a single when you're trying to do this as well as using the 12.1 inch barrel without dragon's breath because that's going to negatively affect your damage range and if you put anything on that's going to hurt it it almost makes it impossible to get a kill at 15 meters with this gun then we have flora you need to kill 25 enemies detected stunned or blinded by your score streak equipment or field upgrades so enemies detected by our uav or harp will count towards this as well as enemies affected by your stun, flash, or smoke. My favorite thing to use is the field mic though. It makes things super easy. Equip gearhead as your perk so you can carry two. Hop into a match in Nuketown and drop one in each house and you'll pretty much cover the whole map. So as long as no one destroys one, 
Every kill you get after that will count towards this challenge, and you should easily be able to complete this challenge in one or two games. This also will work on regular as well as hardcore. Next up we have Science, which is shoot and kill 25 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. This is another challenge that kind of completes itself. Don't really stress over it because you will drive yourself crazy. Um, essentially, you have to kill 25 enemies who are standing behind some sort of cover. Wall bangs do not count. So, the easiest way to kind of visualize it would be like in Modern Warfare. If you're standing close to something, you can mount to it. The last challenge needed to unlock gold is Psychedelic. It's a super easy challenge. You have to rapidly kill two or more enemies. This challenge does stack, so if you get a quad kill, which is definitely possible with the marshals, then it will count towards two. The fastest way to complete this is to play a small map and just play really aggressive. And just make sure you're running at a Kimbo because that will give you four shots. And that's it. Once you've completed all the challenges, you have unlocked gold for the Marshall Pistol. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to see me make another video for any of the other Cold War weapons, please comment in the section below. Also consider subscribing. I will be making camo unlock videos for all the Call of Duty Vanguard guns after the game releases later this fall, as well as other gaming content. Thank you again.